Vanguard! Vanguard, come in, Vanguard. We read you, away team. Is there a xenologist on the bridge? We need help. It's Dr. Corey. What have you got? We found a wounded life form, a humanoid. Intelligent, judging from the clothes and tools. We chased away something that was feeding on her. She seems to be dying. How do you know it's a she? I... Do not assume anything. Make sure you're sealed and protected. Then inspect the damage. Yeah, yeah, we're suited up. Turning her over now. It's all wrong, Doctor. She, I mean, this humanoid, the morphology is roughly human, but the internal organs... I've never seen anything like that. Give me a video feed. We'll figure something out. Hello, welcome to Quackalope. Thank you for joining us. Today, we are diving in once again to ISS Vanguard. And this is prototype... 1.714, I believe you said. Ah, 1.714. This is the second prototype we've received for Oh, this, it's only the uh, second one you've received? Oh, okay. Is this third or fourth in your line? Oh, this might be the second you received. Okay. I oh. hear. I hear. Oh, no, you gotta be in with Mark. If you you're just me. joining in, this is Alex from Board Game Co. Swing over to his channel to see the initial two introductions. If you really want to follow along with how this game is progressing, we have uh, two one videos over there. exploration phase, followed by one shipbook phase. All intro tutorial guiding through, guiding you through the process of learning how to play the game. Except if you're watching this the moment it comes out, because there's a chance mine is up before yours. When's yours going up? Probably within the next few days. Uh, mine's going up Saturday. Yours is going up Saturday? That's the goal. Okay, maybe we'll do same day. Maybe. Maybe we'll do same day. Watch mine first. I'm very excited to get ISS stuff out. Either yeah. way, whatever the case, we are diving into scenario number two. We've been taken off rails just slightly. We've learned core components or elements of the game. We're ready to start making decisions. I mean, I don't make decisions. I just wander blindly. We're, oh, no, that's ready, you. we're that's ready to start making decisions. Yeah, sure. Okay, Let's go I'm that. excited for the decisions. The decisions we make. The I, I'm a little nervous the way you say that. What? That you want to make decisions. No, I'm really excited about making decisions. Pass me the book. <laughs> Pass me the book. <laughs> so, we, just to give you some some uh, aspects to catch you up, this is all relevant. I guess let's go either way, whether you've watched my videos first or whether you're jumping in here. Sure. Basic idea is the first two missions guide us through the first planetary phase, guide us through a planet. Uh, we then went through the shipbook phase, and then now we are being guided back into the shipbook phase. Uh, this is all about learning how to play. The goal is not to read a rule book. They are introducing, and one of the big changes they're having here is they are guiding you through elements, introducing you to things one at a time. In theory, all you have to do is read like the first page of the rule book, which gives you components, and then you dive straight into the slow start. procedure. Uh, to that end, just so you know the things we've skipped, in between the ship phase and in between the ship book phase and now, there was a little bit of a section of adding new crew members to your crew, uh, picking available dice, cashing in a few things, small, small sequences that unfortunately involved grabbing a lot of cards and a lot of trays, which is less fun to watch than you'd imagine. So I've grabbed the cards from the trays so they're ready to go, and now we are about to take our lander and we are landing on the next planet phase. To that end, let's go ahead and start off from where we are. We have, a touch of we have logs somewhere that we're supposed to go to, he says with confidence. Mm -hmm. Why can I not find the logs I we're supposed to? I can hear the confidence. 315. Okay. Let's go here, here, there we go, perfect. Just the logs are out of order so you don't actually stumble on things accidentally. And just because you're the only person can see the screen, I can double check this one, but I usually obsessively check to make sure things are recording. You see numbers counting up or a red light? No. No, not at all? No. Not at all? No, I'm messing with you. It's course it's Oh, of course it's recording. Okay. <laughs> all right. I just can't see. So you know when you want to check and you can't see it? I've been checking. I know you've been checking. One video, one time, I did an entire playthrough of a game <laughs> without one of the cameras on. I check every single time now. Every single camera, every single time. <laughs> that said, moving on to this. So that was fun for me, by the way. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this. We tutorial ducks, all the setup stuff. We did all that, which means we now go to page three to, and to log 315. You can start the reading from 315. Oh, okay. <clears throat> exactly. Away team. Vanguard, this is the away team. We're on route to the designated landing zone. All systems nominal, uplink stable. We should be past the outer debris layer right about... I don't know. I don't know. Right about... Oh, wow. Yeah. I'm not reading. You're reading! <laughs> My god. You seeing this, Vanguard? Crystal clear, away team. It seems like a long-range scans were right. The planet is gone. Ah, uh, we have been here before. Yeah, we have. 
If you see no clear approach vector, you have permission to abort. No, some pieces of the crust look large enough for a touchdown, and we detect anomalous structure among the debris. We should take a look. Captain Wayman. Anything you bring back will be invaluable, away team. Just don't bite off more than you can chew. There are plenty of other worlds on our list. Away team, copy that, Vanguard. Pilot, piloting the landing path. Okay. Ready to go? Okay. Welcome so, to the planetary We are going to be doing a landing phase. To begin with, we are instructed to grab the the uh, heavy armor plating that we unlocked in our last mission. Mission is going to go over here. Uh, additionally, we have over here in the top left corner, you have the number of supplies you have. Unlike the original ISS Vanguard, if you remember, you don't have supply cars. You simply track it like so. Uh, we're going to have the number of equipment we have and the number of... That's going to be from our supply of equipment from our general pool. We select two party equipment and four personal equipment and add those to the ship, which I've already selected. We're going to go ahead and put those down. We are carrying those down with us. We have some med kits. We have six supplies. Supplies will let us refresh our dice, which is very important and helpful. And then over here, uh, we also have heavy armor plating, which I believe reduces our supply count by two. So we only have four supplies, mm -hmm. not six, unfortunately. Uh, this is going to be tracking whether you have modifications. So you can ho theoretically hold up to 12 supplies, depending on the various blueprints you had. Uh, from there, we have three armor, three sensors, three agility. That's going to be relevant to any landing path we take. Uh, in this case, we are going to be going ahead and rolling two hazard dice against a specific chart. If you want to put that chart a little more front and center. Yeah, we have a clear landing path or a debris impact. So, this is the simulation of our lander trying to land and space is not like an airport, so uh, it's not pretty. Go Don't ahead worry. and roll. I've got this. And we got a triangle thing. Triangle Debris circle. impact. Mm. Uh, three. So we had a choice. Either each crew member can take a wound, or if we have three armor, then we can lose one supplies. Fortunately, we do have three armor, both from heavy armor plating as well as our default armor. So we're going to lose one supply. Perfect. We get one more roll. Oh, Go we're going again? You roll twice. Every time it's going to tell you how many rolls you get. Aha! You are the worst. You're like genuinely the worst. Do you know how many options there were? There have, there's a ton of different options on this die. We lose supplies. We're down to two supplies. Yep. yep. You're the worst. Do we go again? No. Yeah, it was our two rolls. Unbelievable. <laughs> I did as like a sample roll beforehand. I rolled one blank and one. What was the other one? The other one is circle, which is landing successful. Unbelievable. Welcome to Quackalo. It's not fun being here. So in any case, from there, we are going to go ahead and read 317, I believe, is the log you are reading. I mean, it didn't say that we successfully landed. It says once you're done both ah, rolls. It says there's a... I hear. 317. You arrived safely at your destination. Now perform the following steps. There's 17 steps I've there. done all those steps. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead. Again, this is me prepping. I went through the basic stuff just to make sure I don't have to grab all the cards and make you watch. It is, again, fun to watch, but not as fun as you might think. Uh, do you want to make sure that's on camera while I go ahead and do this? If not, I can move it over no, to drop. it's presumably there. You just need that little supplies. That's all we need. Yeah. So we are landing on planet Pellucid over here. We're going to go ahead and put our mission card out. I'm going to go ahead and read the mission card. I feel like we've seen this, but I, I also don't know What's if things changed? are different. Well, yeah. things are definitely different because we have yeah, the these new tracks. Different. We have new, new symbols. It's definitely different. Hmm. How different, I don't know. The Broken World offers a few surviving landmarks, but there's a large cluster of potentially interesting structures not far from the landing zone. We must comb this area step by step. Objective, fully explore the sector marked with a this symbol. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's our mission. We have unique discoveries two and three. Those are discoveries we can only find on Pellucid. They are, you know, use it or lose it, basically. Uh, from there, what else do we have going on? We are going to have our equipment. An Earth-sized can... planet on the border of the habitable zone with a long-dated orbit. It gave life to an early space-age civilization. Unfortunately, it was but it was all but wiped away when a strange crystalline structure shattered the planet to pieces. Mm, that's a shame. Well, we're going to go ahead and start on this zone over here. Okay, both of us? Yep, we're going to start on the landing zone. Uh, additionally, we get to divide up the equipment. So let's give each of us one med kit. Okay, I'll take and two med kits. And do you prefer a jetpack or a portable AI? Haha, <laughs> let's see. When portable AI, whenever you roll on the flag sector, you may add one dice to your spent dice pool to that to that roll, or move to another connected sector, ignoring the travel rule. Mm. I think I want to be able to move easier. Interesting. I like a portable AI. I believe I expressed an interest for that the last time we spoke. Uh, from there, we can each take one. So the general rule is every crew member can have as many personal equipment as you want from the general supply, but you can only have one mission equipment. Would you like a breaching charge or a mining probe? You know what I want already. You want a mining, a breaching charge, I mean. Yeah, that's yeah, absolutely it. you do. That's okay, it. I will take the mining probe then. Uh, these generally can be placed in a sector. So you take the card and you place it in a sector and it does different things. It gives you a roll ability as well as there are going to be time trackers on them. We'll cover all of that soon enough. But from there, I believe it's time to go ahead and start off the process. Let me make sure there's no text to read. 
Doesn't say anything okay. at the end of that. Uh, we get to the end of that, at which point we are simply trying to get over here. So, if you want more of an idea of how things played out in the game, uh, in terms of how to play, general idea, we cover this a lot in the, the videos on my channel, but the general overview is there's movement, there's gonna be spending dice to get actions, you're gonna be doing various tests on different cards, you're gonna unlock different cards along the way, and Jesse, do you want to go first? I was gonna say, the place we're on right now has the ability to scout the site. Yep. Uh, for successes, we'll be looking for pickaxes or muscles or uh, compasses. Yep. And if we get any failures, we'll be moving up there. If we get failures, we'll remove two dice. If we get a full four successes, we'll go to log 210. Now, you could help me, correct? Well, it's that, actually that five successes, by the way. Something I think we did incorrectly last time. It's five successes. You have to get all the way from ah. here to there. That's one small note uh, in terms of small things we did incorrectly. I could help you by rolling a die, but I actually think you should help me. Do you know why, sir? Because you're... I have tons of green dice. Weaker. Oh. Yes. So why don't I start? Yeah, okay. And I will roll my three dice, and you want to roll have one of yours? Have we learned help yet? Uh, yeah, we haven't actually officially learned help, but helping is basically, uh, you can roll one die to help me. But I'm just wondering, are we allowed to are do, we things, allowed we to do things we haven't learned? Mm, it's a fair question. I vote we don't, just in case. Let's not. Cool. I'm going to go ahead and roll my dice. I'm going to choose to roll all three of these I dice. Anywhere. What did you say? Huh? I'm going to roll four you have dice. You AI. Feel free to talk to him. I'm gonna... it. Annoying, obnoxious. Okay. Gain two mineral leads and remove this time token. Ooh, that's tempting. That is tempting over there, but I can't do that right now. I think I'm going to go ahead and for my do first- Do we even have leads yet though? We haven't learned leads. We haven't, no, oh, interesting. The rules specifically say don't draw leads until we learn about them. Yeah. Yeah, I believe the rule said that. Okay, like, that's the concept. They actually have this aspect where there are things you can do. So you could you could plant one, assuming we're gonna learn about it, and yeah. trigger it immediately. I'll go ahead and deal with that shortly. I'm gonna go ahead for right now and just roll four dice in this, in this area, and I'm gonna go ahead, as my first action, and we have, oh, that's unfortunate. Ooh. That is, oh, you know what we didn't do yet? Draw two cards from your True. section deck. Oh, and we have more section cards. Yes, we do. Fantastic. So let me see what I can do here because that was, I believe I'm gonna go with the doing re-roll, re-roll all dice. Yeah. Although all is a bit harsh because these two are successes. Yeah, but you'll probably get them anyway. Double fails is pretty rough. Yeah, double fails is pretty rough. I'm gonna go ahead and discard this card and we're gonna go ahead and re-roll all dice. Okay, that is much better. So that's two Vanguard symbols. That's two successes, Ooh. three, four, and five because that is going to equal my symbol. So that was a good call. Good call on the whole You're re -roll. welcome. Five successes means we're going to go ahead and take one of these markers. We're gonna put it over here for one, two, three, four, You're and in. five. Go to log 210, sir. Me? Okay. Uh, two, 10. <sighs> away team, operative one. Vanguard, this is the away team one. My sensors are picking up some electromagnetic, electromagnetic, magnetic. Electro magnetic electric activity among the rubble. I'll try to reach it. Uh, try to Sergeant, it? I'll try to reach it. Read Sergeant, it. reach it. Sergeant Nay, be careful, away team. This planet looks too much like a battleground. You should expect danger. And operative one, okay, got it. It's just a small shard of some metallic magnesized casing. Nothing too exciting. Uh, Sergeant Nay, we'll tune on your sensors. We'll, we'll tune your, we'll tune your sensors to the magnetic signature of this shard. I don't know why I'm having so much trouble. Because you're trying to read it. This should help you find <laughs> other similar parts. <laughs> Operative one, roger that, Vanguard. <laughs> cool. Okay, well, is there anything else? Anything else? You just like close the book. <laughs> I'm still recovering from your <laughs> insult. <laughs> <laughs> okay, congratulations, you found your first lead. Leads are small clues such as pieces of alien technology, biological samples, or even paw prints of an alien creature. If you gather enough of them, you'll be rewarded with important discoveries that you'll take with you to ISIS Vanguard. Find the leads bag and place it on the table. Make sure it contains 20 leads tokens. You want to count that while I keep reading? If this is your first game, put, punch out all 20 lead tokens and add them to the bag. Lead tokens can be identified by a large number in the middle of the token from zero to three. So just count to those 20 of those. Find a shuffle of five separate discovery decks, minerals, microorganisms, alien attack, alien specimens, and strange floor. Place these decks. So we need the discovery decks. So these discovery decks are going to go above. Ooh, we're going to have to do a top shot check over here. I think there are room. not we have 20. Room. How many are there? There's... That's not great. There might be 20. Let me try again. Okay, cool. Mineral discovery. We're going to put these decks up here. So there's going to be a whole bunch of decks up here like so. Dun, 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 there are not 20. How many are there? 18. 18 is good enough. We'll make it do. Close enough. Okay. There's probably two somewhere else, but I don't... I'll look for those in a bit. We're going to go ahead and charge confidently forward. So... I like these leads better than the Yeah, leads. the leads instead of the cards. Saves you some card stuff. Okay. So we have over there like so. Find yourself five separate discovery decks. Place them in the outlines up there. Mm -hmm. Draw... Take one alien tech lead. So you want to grab an alien tech? 
Uh, an alien tech discovery or lead? Uh, no. Oh, sorry. You're right. You're right. A lead. Draw one alien tech lead. You should draw one lead at random from the bag and place it on the alien tech discovery. Oh, interesting. Oh, interesting. Okay, fine. This so, is different. This is different, by the way. This is new for us. Go ahead, sir. So we it's have a zero. Oh, okay. Does the same thing on the other the side? No, it's just, it must be you have to get a certain number. When the leads through. on a discovery deck reach a total sum of three, discover, discard all leads from the deck, draw the top discovery card, and place it in the appropriate slot in your lander. Our lander can carry up to five, six discoveries. Yep. Each lander has a different maximum capacity of discoveries it can hold. When you finish your planetary exploration, you must discard the gather discoveries down to number visible. Some leads also have special one-time effects, such as draw a card, etc., whatever. Please note the global conditions of this planet allows you to gather more leads when you roll those two symbols on a thing. Let's go back to the roll thingy. Mm. You can always have rolls that you accomplish on both your cards and or the planet. If you match those two at any point, then you just inherently draw a mineral lead. Uh, check your roll dice. In this case, every time you roll that, those two symbols, you will gain one mineral lead. Remember that a vanguard also counts against that. Okay. We'll place this card in the sector with card P10. P110. Point of interest 110. And that's going to be from over here. Did and the now, earlier version of the game have symbols like on our nope, cards and nope. on here that we have to follow? One of the new things about the Ice Vanguard version 1.714 yeah. is going to be the idea that you have uh, these trying to you're trying to hit certain combos as well. It gives you another thing to go for. With I dice. hear. I don't know that I like them all in different positions that we are tracking just in your head. I don't think it's because the we odds got, of me paying attention to that and paying attention to my cards and paying attention to what I'm resolving here. I hear is a little bit less likely. I hear. For those who want a little more mechanically, I'm aware yeah. of that. I don't think it's overwhelming, but that's... I think I'll miss them. Well, I'll do my best to make sure you don't. <laughs> I'm just okay. saying when I play. My turn. <laughs> I have two dice left at this point. I have these four dice have been accomplished. They're done. Oh, interesting. Can I count that right now? I'm I'm not sure if I can count it yet because we just learned about it. But in theory, this would already be enough to draw a mineral lead. A double vanguard? Yes, double vanguard. The two of those. Yeah. You have a double that vanguard. That was there to start with, right? Yeah, but we couldn't do any leads until we discovered them. So the question is, when did the roll resolve? I hear. We're just going to go with it. It's all good. For my second action, I think I'm going to go ahead. I want to get this on the board, but I don't have anything good to do that. Best I can hope for is a Vanguard on this, which seems like a poor way to go around that. So I think for my second action, move? we have like no supplies left. You're the worst. Whoa, we've got two supplies. You have two supplies. Don't call you, them. Like, you, but don't call them, no. Oh, jeez. I'll okay. use them then. Assume we have you know, no supplies. You know what? You know I'll what? use no, no supplies. No. Don't worry about no. it. You could rest here, couldn't you? No. I could, yeah, but we have no supplies. That's true. Well, we've got two supplies. Uh, give me your supplies. <laughs> One supply down. I'm taking back a bunch of cards, a bunch of dice over here, and I am reluctantly... Um, no, I'm not happy with this. Let's be very clear with that. <laughs> okay, and I'm going to draw a card from my deck, and it's now your turn. I'm going to flip my thing. I haven't seen anything in an event deck yet, so it says draw an event card, but I don't think there are any. Mm. But while I double check that, you go ahead and do your thing. So, I could go down to the Crystalline Filaments or the Failed Shelter. Yep. Interesting. To me... Or you could try doing the Fine Artifacts action on the card. I could. I could, I hear. To me, going down to the Crystalline Filaments seems like the best option. Excellent choice. So, you're going to go ahead and roll a Hazard Dice against our Track of Wounding. So, you hope you can get... You might get a Wound Injury. Is Ooh. this the Hazard Dice? Yeah, that's the Hazard Die. Yep. Uh, you got a triangle, which means you lose one die. Okay. Well, I don't need most dies. I hear you. Uh, down here, uh, research all dice, use this roll, refresh all dice. Ooh, nice. Wait, what? If I get a pickaxe, a scientific thing, and a computer, I can refresh all the dice I just so used. You do have a symbol. This one has Vanguard as its most common symbol, but also, and also a double Vanguard. Red and oh. green. As long as I do a red and a green, I'm going to get a unique discovery to replace card with PP111. So if you roll all your dice... Well, keep in mind, this leads to the next action as well. So if you get this, you automatically get that. But the the question is, do you want to roll like all five of your dice trying for to an get epic? a double of three successes? I think so. I mean, check your cards. Do your cards help you uh, mess around with stuff? During your roll, I may turn a science into a computer, but I don't have any science either, so... Listen, you'll never know until you try, right? Yep, you're right. Especially with the amount of supplies we have, it's the right decision to make. Vanguard, Vanguard... And pickaxe. No, wrong color die. What are your dice do? What are your two uh, cards do again? So I can turn a red. Place this card on your roll pool to add these symbols and colors to your roll. Discard this card after the roll. So, so that, 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 that would, that would give it to me. 
I think it's worth it based on how bad that worked. Okay, let's do it. So you're gonna go ahead and add the breaching charge, and it's unfortunately going to be discarded after the roll. So the yep, breaching yep, charge yep. is gone. But I get all my dice back. You get all your dice back, and more than that, because you rolled these some the two pickaxes because you had two vanguards, you are going to go ahead and draw a mining lead. Okay. Mineral lead. Mineral discovery level two. Okay. Nice. Yep. And then from there we have. And uh, then you, from there, you get a we get a, one of these charges up here. These are going to go into our where do these go? These go somewhere. I don't know where these go. We store these somewhere. Oh, here we go. There we go. These get stored and here. And please also give me unique discovery two. Yes. Replace this card with P one eleven. Crystalline shard sharp ship phase. When you slot this card, gain R O five research project synthesizing crystal shard cool so end of the mission basically because we found the discovery we're also going to have unlocked a research project so this can pop into our awaiting bag right yep okay okay resupply, resupply depot. depot let's see here this crystalline arm extending into space can be can be supplied directly from the vanguard if we're desperate enough to order an emergency drop emergency supply drop crew members must discard one success to use this action gain three supplies Replace this card with a nothing interesting here. Okay. So we could get more supplies. We must discard one to use as action. They have to discard it. Wow. They okay, discard one of those. I, I vote we need more supplies. I think we probably do. Okay. But I've well, done my two actions. So that'll be past actions, my turn. So that's fine. No I events, have right? A full, no, so I didn't see anything, but it's possible. And did you draw up an additional section card when you refresh? When I rest? Yes, yes okay. I did. Now, it's possible we're missing the event deck. There generally would be an event deck, but again, this tutorial, so it's introducing things slowly, and it did not say to set up an event deck. I'm 90% certain. If I'm wrong, there'll be some sort of something, maybe a pinned comment. I'll comment and be like, quackle if you're wrong. Excuse me. So, I think believe we should split up, because you're dangerous. Cool. So, I'm thinking I'm thinking that's a good idea. Yeah, because of the way this board is working, and I think the fact that I can probably get those over here, if I get a single... Do you want to try to find the artifacts, though? Um, oh, the artifacts. Alien tech lead. Two alien tech leads, plus another alien tech lead. Ah, uh, that is... that is harsh. If I do three dice, I can almost certainly get it like this. But I might even get more. No, I won't. I'll get one alien tech lead. But no, you I don't might think I do. get a mineral. I don't think I want to. No, a mineral. Oh, because of that, I get two of those faces because I have. These. I'm thinking we should walk away with one alien tech, and I'm going to get it. Yeah, do I'd rather do it over here with two alien tech leads over here. Okay. Right, I'm going to go ahead and head up here. My first action is going to be a move. I'm going to travel, which means I can either roll a die hoping for a nothing, or just give up a die. Nah, uh, do the nothing. Just roll the thing hoping for nothing, but yeah. I could gain a wound. No, not you. I could gain a wound. It's you. It's what are the me. chances of a wound? A wound is going to be there's going to be one square, two squares, going to be two squares on this die. It's a one in four chance of a wound. A one in four. That's pretty good. I agree with you. We're going to go for it. Boom. Boom. There we are. Awesome. Cool. Okay. We're going to go ahead and open the shelters. Open the shelters is going to have us rolling. What number is that? It's a one again. So we're going to have to do that one action over there. It's a unique action. We can only do it once per turn. So I do have to roll this, unfortunately, but I think I'm going to go ahead. Let me you have to roll I... that to open the shelters? I do have to roll this. So that's the part Did where... I have to roll that to study the crystal? Yes, you did. Yeah. And you got a wound. Unbelievable. <laughs> okay. You're like <laughs> genuinely the worst. <laughs> Okay. Oh, by the way, I didn't tell you this yet. You have your uh, personal rank up card over here. Mm. You have to read that, and when that's achieved, you get to flip it and show. Okay. So you gain the wound injury, which is going to be this one over here. So you have now added a wound injury to your deck, and you're going to roll this. Whenever you roll dice in the future, you're rolling that. So I would keep this secret, but I have no idea what it's asking me to do. Okay, cool. All your cards, well, we'll just reveal to them now. Mm -hmm. If you simultaneously accomplish two of your special roll combinations on cards in your section cards. My section cards currently yes, have no special Then you'll have to draw more cards. Okay, great. Otherwise, you will not rank up. Okay. And I have to put a dice here now? Uh, you put the dice over here. Whenever you roll dice, you can roll this. And if you roll that, you give up another <sighs> die. So effectively, you're just worse off than you have been the entire time. No, I'm about just as bad as I've always been. That's a fair statement. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead. I need a computer. None of my dice give me a computer. So I think I'm going to go with the double vanguard symbol, knowing that I... And these double vanguards do have a higher chance of failure. They have two of those, those symbols. But I do know that at least one of these... Okay, I could do that. That's interesting. That would have been good to know, actually. Whatever it is, too late now. I can do that. Discard. Oh, that's interesting. Doesn't help me at all, though. Okay. 
Oh, interesting. I could refresh all. Don't forget your abilities, by the way. Oh, we didn't talk about this. We did unlock abilities. When gaining any number of leads, you can gain two more. Uh, you have to spend a charge to do so, and I can spend a charge to refresh all dice in this roll, which would have been helpful last turn. Either way, I'm going to go ahead and roll double Vanguard symbol along with this, hoping for two alien tech leads, although this one would directly lead. I'm doing it. I'm going for it. Oh, that's not good. You got a reroll, and I got a wound. Okay, so I got the injury wound. This is not looking quite as good as I would like, by the way, just to be very clear. So I'm looking for the wounded injury, wounded over here. So I also now have that. That was my second roll. And we have, oh, that's brutal. I cannot re-roll that. Whenever you roll in a sector, and that's not gonna help me, you or another crew member in your sector discards one injury, discard this card. So you do have a med kit. Don't forget that. Mm -hmm. You should give up a green die to do that. This is brutal. That is absolutely brutal. That does not help me at all. That does not help me as all at all. So that is going to be it. That's my turn. Your turn, sir. I think I'm going to use this to go ahead and get rid of... You have, uh, to, you have to give up a green die to do so. I hear. Okay. Great. Okay. Just because the odds of me rolling three... All the time. All, yeah. Yeah, I agree. Um, Q members must discard one success. You mind if I discard a success? A supply, you mean? Or success? Oh, yeah. No, please. Please do. Uh, and I'm looking for a science button. Do you have that? Do you have a double vanguard, though? Mm, I should have a double vanguard somewhere. Yeah. Let's be the one with the vanguard in the parentheses, the brackets. There we are. Okay. I think that's what we're going for. Yeah, there's a one in third chance it fails if you just roll that, though. Unless you have something on your... Doing your roll, you may treat a result of... Now, you can treat... Doing this card, you can treat a result of that. I don't, I don't know if you have that. Yeah, that as a computer, which would work. Okay, let's roll these two. Boom. Well, I mean, both... That covers you. Both were fantastic. And, and you've got another lead. Go ahead and draw... And you oh, could choose one. to give up this to gain two more. For a mineral... I kind of wanted Florum. Okay, great. Mineral. So just do a mineral lead. We already got a two Can under. Can I do one and then see what I get and then do more? Or do I need to do I it right now? I don't know. It says when gaining any number of leads, gain two more. I'm flexible on those things. I would probably just go with it and worry about rules later. Zero plus one charge. You get a charge. Oh, cool. So that's a good time to uh, draw two more leads. You can spend the two more. Yeah, we do. Right now. Okay, let's may do as it. Well. Let's do it. Plus one charge and two more. So we no, are going to... Plus one charge or card? Plus one card. Plus one card and two more, which means we are going to go ahead and draw a mineral discovery. Those go back in here, I believe. Okay. Don't they? Ship phase. What What goes... Um, No, those don't go back in there. Not yet. Not that I know of. I'll double check. When you place this card in the slot, gain the ceramic plating production thing. So this is going to be going into our book thing. Actually, no. It goes over here, actually. Discoveries. No, no, no. Down below the, the ship, we can hold six discoveries. Hmm. Okay. So is that unique discovery That was a unique well? discovery. Ar arguably so. Yeah. We don't actually get it back in our book until we're done. I feel like I'm doing very well. I feel like you lost us two supplies and gained a wound. And just got us three supplies. You're a wonderful person. Uh, replace this card with P000, yeah, that's which basically be means that, that here. yeah, we're just, we've exhausted this area. We've gotten our, you got three supplies? Yeah. Nice. Okay. So that is helpful. One request I do have, I'd like in the final version for every one of these, like for like, have five of them yeah. and have them all be different artwork. Yeah. Because right now it's like they're the same artwork and more importantly, that's like glaringly wrong yeah. against this backdrop. Big red desert. Eh. Yeah. Okay. Um, and also every time I see it, I think. There's probably something to be found there. Mm, no, you found it. It looks very cool. It's very cool. So that is going to be your one action. You have one action left. Hmm. Yeah, we're going over here. Sounds like a plan. So you just have to give two dice or or you can also... Don't you have a jetpack? I do. Do you want a jetpack across? No, because it's going to be hard for me to move up there as well. What? Do you, but you don't give it up. Uh... You don't give it up. I didn't have a green compass. Okay, so that's a different story. Yeah. Yeah, you don't give up the jetpack though. Yeah. Okay, so you gave it two dice to go ahead, and you're doing that perfect. You're at log 16. Log 16, sir. Okay. Log 16. This is one they had me skip earlier. I believe this is your die. Oh, hey. team. Operative one. We're passing the ridge of, of solidified lava, Capcom. Don't forget to gather samples. They may tell us something about the co composition of the planet's core. It might be somehow related to this crystal. Oh, team. Operative one. Wait. There's a whole field of Atene up ahead. They are humongous. Capcom. Perfect. Place the scavenge. Pl perfect place to scavenge some alien tech. Define humongous. Away team. Away team. Operative one. At least several times larger than our Earth's fast telescope. Diameters measure in kilometers. Seems me. Seems. Fairly did you? Big. Did you? Did you? Are we done? 
Oh, I don't know. You always just like, you're done with the flavor text and you skip all the rules. Uh, place card 114, ultra large array in this sector. Just skipping the. Listen. He's like, it's all flavor text. Listen, I'm all for the flavor text. That's ultra large for. array. This force of enormous antennae indicates the civilization tried to communicate with someone or something. Dun dun dun. Okay. We have study the ray. This is going to be a unique action. You can only take that once per turn. Where okay. you can go ahead and do two alien tech leads if you have those particular uh, thingy majiggies. My turn's over though. It is over. So I have the other action over there, where I could just not get the alien tech leads and go with the unique discovery three. But I think so. What I'm going to do is last turn. I'm going to give this up to get these dice back because I want those green dice back. And then this turn, I think I'm going to go ahead and spend. Well, I'm going to go ahead and roll all three in order to open the shelters. And we have unbelievable. Wow. Unbelievable. Yeah, I'm embarrassed for you. That's like just bad. Wow. You got any I'm modifiers? Gonna go ahead, I'm gonna, no, I'm just going to go ahead and take my dice back. Um, and before I do that, I realize, before I do that, because it makes sense, I'm going to go ahead and give up one of these. I'm going to roll one of these to, or actually, yes, after. So I'll have to roll this along with it. Fortunately, nothing happens. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and give up this to go ahead and just give that up and then give up this. You and other crew member discard one injury die, discard this card. So that's gone, that's gone, we're no longer wounded, and this card goes away. Okay, that's my two actions. That was bad. Mm -hmm. I just cannot get those rolls. Mm -mm. It's unfortunate, embarrassing. Yeah. Shouldn't make one of you. I'm doing very well. And that is gonna be my turn. Uh, we're done with my turn, it's now back to your turn. No event still. It's seemingly. Again, I'll, I'll double check. You know, pass the rules. I'll, I'll read it a third time while you go ahead and do your turn. Because we have learned about events. We have. You would think they're there. You'd think. All right. A ultra large array. The forest of enormous antennas indicates the civilizations tried to communicate with someone or something. To study the array, I need a scientific and a computer for two, two alien techs, and I need two of any color and a blue. Replace this card with 115. Okay. Uh, I mean, I can do a rest action. She's going to draw me another card and is going to let me recoup two blues and let's do this wild vanguard and then I think we're rolling on it. Ooh, any modifiers, any modifiers. Discard one charge. Another crew member in your sector gains one charge. During a roll, discard one die from the roll pool. Hmm. Yeah, there's nothing about events here. It's possible they just assume that we're supposed to grab new events, which is possible, but okay. I do not know. I didn't get the better effect, but I did succeed with rolling two. three dice. Yeah, that, that counts. So you don't get the alien tech leads, which is fine, but yeah. you will go ahead and get a success cube. Because this fail doesn't, this card. doesn't make yeah. it, so... No, it does not stop you. Okay, you can get card 115. Okay. And there you go. Array control room. The mainframe controlling the array is too large to move and extremely complex. Here I could decipher the alien systems if you have a unique discovery three. Ooh. We need to find unique discovery three to even try to really accomplish Unique discovery is over three is over there, which I should be able to get shortly. Okay. My turn? Yes, sir. Cool. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to go ahead and do this again for the third time. Well, you got it this time. I'm pretty sure. I'm going to go ahead and roll. Unbelievable. Like you'd think. You would really, really think. I'm very sad, Jesse. All right. That's going to be my action over there. So I'm going to go ahead and lose those. Unfortunately, what I will do is I will go ahead and spend a rest action, a supplies action to go ahead down to there. Didn't we? Did you use the supplies? I did. Okay, cool. So I'm going to yeah. reclaim these dice over here. I'm sorry about that. All good. All good. I'm going to try it again next turn. I was very hungry. Okay. That's going to be that. And then I also have to draw a section card, which might help me with my horrific rolls. Okay. That's it. That's my turn. To you, sir. Hmm. Hmm. I want to start working on that, but I don't think it's the smartest thing for me to do. Because the odds of me getting those... Weird squiggly tokens are lower than I'd like. Although, I can use science as them. Let's go for it. I'm going to use another supply drop. Do I have a hand limit? Yep. What's my hand limit? Uh, your hand limit is three. Until you go to level four. Three? Yep. What? 
You will have it of three until you are a level three person. But I'm at four. You're not a level four person. You shouldn't be at four. Mm, I hear you. Also, a turn ago, um, you do discard all of these. These do not count at all. You remove them from the roll entirely. What? Yeah. This is a note. Well, then I cheated. It's okay. But I could have spent this card to not cheat. Okay. So let's assume I did that. That's perfect. I could have rerolled that. Yeah, go ahead. Reroll it. <laughs> Wait. No, I would have gotten it. There we are. There That's we what are. I would have gotten. That's the one. Yeah. Okay. So I used another one of our supplies. Mm -hmm. I'm going to be pulling back. I specifically want the double vanguard, okay. which is this one. Yeah. I want the science squiggle token, and I would like this squiggle token. This may give me the chance. This gives me the best odds of trying to complete that card. During roll, roll one additional section dice and add it to the roll pool. I don't have any additional section dice, yeah. though, do I? Okay, let's go for it. Wait, no, what, what would that ability be? Oh, doing the roll. So mm -hmm. you, you get to basically kind of start the roll and then change your mind. Yeah. You're un we are just rolling these ha these things left, right, and center. So these those that gets removed from the roll. The good news for you is, in, arguably in a weird way, that gets removed, which means it won't trigger against that. I do hear. I do hear. Um, um, don't we need Unique Discovery 3 for this? I have things that convert certain dice to squiggles, to, to okay. oysters. Just didn't happen this time. It did not happen. That so we have one advancement on the resetting both tracks. Yeah. Why don't we not try the array control room just yet? Okay. Shall I go ahead? I got one more action I can do. No, I rested and then moved. Yeah. So, yeah, you can go ahead. Okay. I'm going, going to try this. Well. Are we supposed not... to lose in round two? I think so. I oh, think okay. so. Yeah. yeah. I'm going right. to go ahead then and we're doing roll... it just perfectly. Exactly. I'm going to do this again for the fourth time now. I'm going to roll these. Jesse, it's unbelievable. Yep. Jesse. What'd you pull? Jesse. What'd you do? I rolled three dice. What'd you do? That. I was sitting here doing my very best to nope. subtly let someone know that it's okay, we're filming, not to nope. be concerned, and... Nope. Uh... Nope. 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 Anything? Nope. Okay, that's my turn. I'm gonna go ahead and then I will I can't rest because I have these cards over here. Oh my gosh. Okay. Um I am going to just You know so Alex, I've been thinking the more we've been doing ISS Vanguard yeah. stuff, when the game finally does arrive, yeah. I think we deserve it to our communities to just die. Campaign the whole thing to die. Just romantically okay. go so, on this adventure. There's an action we haven't talked about yet, which you can have an action to draw a card, and you won't be able to hold all the cards in your hand. So it's you not that the game's hard, it's just we're bad at it. I don't know if this is... This has been brutal, these rolls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I am going to go ahead, and I am going to... I'm going to discard this charge to take these dice back from the roll, so I have those back for next turn, for my fifth attempt. And then my second action... For my second action, I think because I'm staying here this long. Hey, if I got two matching consequence symbols, does that count towards yeah. my? Yeah. Ooh, I get to refresh. Oh no, no, no! You don't. You don't because the the consequence is always discarded from the roll. Basically, oh, do not no. count. I'm gonna go ahead and draw another card, which means I have to discard a card. Okay, your turn. Hey, Alex. Yeah. Um, I don't have any dice left. You're gonna have to use supplies. We only have one supply left. We're probably gonna die. Okay. Yeah. I just thought I'd check with you. Yeah, we do, we do have this ability called exertion, which we could okay. use, but it's not pleasant. Um. Okay, I, I'd remove a dice to refresh all of them. I'm gonna do that. That seems reasonable. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm. You just get rid of a die entirely. Is it out of the game entirely? Uh, oh, no, not out of the game, just for the round. Hey, I got all my dice back. Yeah. Do you think I should try the computer again? I am not confident in that. Awesome. I feel like I have... Let me show you what I have so you can actually see what I'm saying. Okay. Double Vanguard dice. Sure. Science dice and biology dice. Why does the biology help you? Biology turns into squids. Science turns into squids. Squids? Squids. And you need squids. And I need squids. It's the best odds Go that we for have. It. The other Go thing for it. Is Do it. Do it. We have to get something. Okay. So we have at least one movement forward, right? 
Now that gets removed from the roll, so it doesn't it doesn't count against us. So we would add one, unless you're doing something else, you'd add one to this track. And I could discard this. this card to re-roll one to roll one additional section die. Which one do you want to re-roll? It's not re-roll, it's roll one additional. Roll I'd be looking for a vanguard symbol. It's, it's not worth it. I mean, it's not like it. Okay. <laughs> Those dice gave us the best off. I didn't say it was a good idea. I said it's the marginally best idea. My turn? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try this for the fifth time now. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and roll. By the way, I should really be rolling. <laughs> no, I wait, should be rolling. I've only failed on this twice. You're already up to five? Uh, it's it's not cool. It's not cool. I mean, this would be my best chance, arguably. These two, I'm not actually not going to use this time. I'm going to try it with this one. Or should I just give up and then just forget the alien tech leads and just go straight to Unique Discovery 3? You mean it just seems, roll just roll a red and a blue? Yeah, it does seem like I'm I'm done with the the, the attempting to to win here. I forgot that you were trying to do the best. So thing. did I. So did I. Okay, we're gonna do that. Uh, this means I get to hey, discard a die. You succeeded. Yeah. It's as if they gave you a path forward. Yeah, I was I the amount of times I rolled whatever these are done. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and have to discard a die. I will give up my plane. Uh, this one over here, and then then we go ahead and we get a success token. Woohoo! And we get to do Unique Discovery 3, and we place the card with P12. So, you go ahead and do Unique Discovery 3, you can read that. Unique Discovery 3. You should have had this to me two rounds earlier. I should have. I forgot that I was doing the best thing. When you slot this card, gain plus one morale. Okay. And you know what the good news is? Yeah, now it's a lot easier for me to do what I need to do. That too. Uh, we're going to go ahead, Resupply Depot. The crystalline arm, ex this crystalline arm extending into space can be supplied directly from Vanguard if we're desperate enough to order an emergency drop. Are we desperate enough to order an emergency drop? Yeah, yes, we are. We That's might correct. So with my second action, I'm going to fail on this one. I mean, I'm going to try on that one. So crew members must discard one thingy. Oh yes, yes we are. I don't care. We must do this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and then I'm going to... You know the end of the round is going to be like, How good did you do? How many success tokens do you have remaining in your pool? One, I'd you suck. I'd rather not talk about it. I'd rather not talk about it. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to roll both of these because... Well, actually, only one face over here is a mm -hmm. failure. Mm -hmm. Only one. I Can hear you. Point you. It out? Yeah. Every other face is going to give me this compass, which is what we need for that thing. Which means I'm going to roll it. Mm -hmm. Okay, are we ready for this? Finally. Right. So, we go ahead, that guy is gone, and we move our supply track up three. Boop, boop, that was my boop. second action, and then we replace that card with P100, which they are suspiciously gone. Where are the P100s? Yeah, they definitely are in there. They're definitely not in here. It was in the other stack of cards. I know it was in the other stack of cards. I'm guessing that the other stack of cards, we're supposed to add them to here. No, that's the mission cards. We have some P100s from before. I put them somewhere. I will find them later. There's that card is replaced for right now. Let's go ahead and flip it upside down. Yeah. Yeah, Boom. the tutorial gave us three P00s. I guess they're supposed to transition into this, which they did not make their way there. Okay. So, in any case, yeah, it's not going to be that. And now it's your turn. Hmm. I'm going to try the thing I was trying the whole time while you were making me fail. That seems reasonable. Three dice back. Okay. Are you lowering supplies? Yeah. And drawing a card? Yeah, I'll get rid of one of these as well. Okay. I think I'm going to roll two, because all I need now is two successes. We're okay. holding on to my higher-powered Vanguard die. I feel there should be an event deck here. Boom. And now we succeed. Okay. I think. You have to give it a card. I do that, have right? to give up a card. Now you already give up that card. It's the card that I just got rid of. Yeah, it is. So we have one success. <laughs> one success. <laughs> you can roll an additional die. Yeah, let's do it. Let's now roll okay. this Vanguard die. And we got another success. We're still not done, though. No, that's... No, we still gotta go. Oh, it here. has to be four? Yep. All right. Well, next turn. During roll, discard two from your roll pool. Place one chosen die in that roll pool on the side marked with brackets. That would work. The discard two... No, no, discard two from your roll pool. And place one. No, your roll pool is... No, no, this is your roll pool. Oh... Yeah. Mm, that one. Discard two from your roll pool to place one chosen die in this roll. Yeah, it won't help us. Yeah. Okay. So that's where we are right now. Okay. We should be fine, he says confidently. 
Okay, uh, to my turn. To my turn, I'm going to go ahead and I am going to move to the next sector. Uh, given my luck with dice so far, I think I'm just going to go ahead and... What if we are supposed to keep the event cards from the last game? I think we might have. There are cards that are marked with the tutorial. They're, they're somewhere in a box somewhere. I'll get them whenever. It's all good. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and move them. This, they were this all doing extra. the same thing. Do you remember what they were doing? The P00s? Oh, the event? Oh, no, those events, no. They those, were pushing time marker no. and... Those events are going to be these tutorials over here. Yeah. Anything with tutorial is discarded at the end of that tutorial. Yeah. Uh, but there are other... There's a giant stack of events over here. The only question is they didn't say to put them in play. Do they assume that we're supposed to put them in play? Could go either way. Honestly, we're doing poorly enough either way, so it's not like we need the extra help. I'm going to go ahead and move there with that. Uh, and to that end, we're going to go ahead and I could roll the hazard die. I kind of feel like we need dice, but I also don't want to get the one in four chance of a wound. I am not going to take the one in four chance. I'm going to go ahead and discard this like so. And I'm going to go ahead and read log 115. Okay, now aren't we all supposed to group over there? That's our <sighs> ultimate objective. Yes, but I'm working on like the computer things. Cool. So, one four, one, uh, log 15. I don't know why I said 114. Log 15. The scans were correct. There are several interesting sites in the sector. Find all three P113 cards. Place a random one in the sector. The sector is fully explored only when you reveal a card with a flag icon. Monsieur. Monsieur. Okay, we got three of these. We're going to go ahead and shuffle them up. Shuffle, 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 shuffle. And we're going to pick up one of these. And we have Buried Signal, which does not have a flag icon on it. Buried Signal. Uh, buried with two R's, by the way. Uh, Waking Realms, two R's and you're buried. That's how you spell buried. Unless it's uh, alien buried. Buried signal. <laughs> this mountain of charred rubble comes alive as a beacon-like signal sounds deep beneath it. Oh, they got this buried right. Look at that. So we got one buried. Okay. Uh, we're going to go ahead and have to get up. Uh, pitchforks will advance the yellow track, and regular dice will advance the green track. And if you get the yellow track, two alien tech leads progress the bottom track by one reset this track. That's interesting. Mm -hmm. I like how that works. Okay, that was my turn. I did a uh, action and move. Wait, did I? Or did I just move? Did I resolve that last round? You I resolved moved, that last round. You moved into the area. Yeah, so I moved into the area, and that's it, right? I think you triggered... When you moved into the area, you triggered whatever the event was, right? So then it's my turn. Still. Yeah, still your turn. Okay, so I don't have anything left, really. I think I'm going to go ahead and use the supplies. Yep. Can you move this down up supplies one? And I'm going to have to draw a car, which means I am going to be giving up one of these cars in a second. Uh, but I'm going to choose back... If we need those pitchforks, I don't really have that at all. So I guess it just comes down to Vanguard symbols, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Okay, that's going to help. That's going to help. You may treat that as that. It doesn't help me. You may treat that as that. This does not help me. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and grab these cards. These, I, I don't particularly mind either way. Okay, I'm going to grab this one and this one and this one. And we'll go ahead and do that. And now it is your turn. So... I card, a card. I think I'm just going to go for a single die roll. Pull this to a success. Success. Okay. Okay, and we're triggering log 250. 250. Right, it's going to advance over here, and 250 happens. 250. Where are we? Research log 18C. The study of their array revealed the creatures of this planet made a significant effort to contact other civilizations. However, once they realized they were doomed, they tried to rewire this massive complex from a giant receiver into a giant transmitter. The message they tried to send is, unfortunately, impossible to recover. We can only wonder whether it was some sort of final testament, an admission of a great mistake, or a warning they hoped to deliver to other civilizations. Another disconcerting find is that many terminals and devices here are designed to accommodate users of different shapes, sizes, and numbers of limbs, even though this wasn't a spacefaring civilization, and even though it used a single language. We must learn more about this planet to form an opinion. Gain the following unmarked bonuses and mark them as taken. We have a lead, so we're going to have one of these. And then we have two alien tech leads. This is a time where you can consider your charges, but two alien tech leads. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. I'm gonna so spend one charge four. to draw two more. Okay. So, one, two, three. Yep. And four. Although, is this a refresh of them all? I don't think so. It might be, but if it is, if it is, I haven't, that might well be, what was it? doesn't specify a list of what they actually do. I just, that seems like everything's Put going everything back, back in the bag. bag. Could well be. Let me but I would have I would have done that on zeros. Give me one second. Let's check this out. When you summon three, discover all leads. Place them in this lost. Somebody's also supposed to one time to see the leads and discoveries and the basic rules. So if you give me one second. Yeah, they do occasionally tell you to check the basic rules under leads and discoveries. 
So we have this leads and discoveries. Oh, in the case of this this lead should be put back in the bag. This specific lead. Okay. Cool. I get plus one card. Okay. Uh, does this card change with anything? Um, go to card log two fifty. Did I did I mistakenly? We, do, we just read that. Did did we do anything else after? Two alien tech leads. Oh, that's it. Okay. Mark the mistaken. So that's it. Nothing else is revealed there. Okay. Okay. Did we get the tech lead or not really? Still no, not. Still oh wow. Not. Even still with four not. things drawn. Yeah. Wow. Isn't this must be back in the bag? Yeah, I put a different one back in the bag by accident. Mm -hmm. There's another zero out there. Okay. I'll fix it. Uh, where's another zero? Oh, okay. Lots of zeros. There's another zero. That one should be out there. Okay. okay. Fine. Did you take the ability of plus one card or whatever it was? I took the card, yeah. Okay. So, that is your first action, right? Yeah, you I'm going to do move action up. Yeah. Nothing there. And I have to discard a dice to do that? Just either discard a die oh, no, or roll, roll a danger die. Yeah, sure. go ahead. Absolutely. Seems reasonable. Don't get a square. Good. Nothing. Okay. Okay. That's going to be a regular one, which means no effect for the hexagon danger symbol. That was second action. My turn. Okay. I could go ahead and attempt to do stuff in that buried signal. I may as well. It's a one-time ability. Uh, so let's go ahead and, and do that. I think... I think I'm going to go ahead and put this card down in that sector. So I'm actually going to go ahead and roll for this, for this one first. Do I have anything that will magically help me? I don't think so. Let's go ahead and do it anyway. Hopefully we get something good. Phew, finally. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and successfully put this down in the sector over here, which means now every time gain two mineral leads and remove the time token. So this goes back to the thing. Usually the there should be an event that's pushing the time token time forward. Tracks. And that would happen to these as well. There's definitely an event that has... Oh, there's 100% an event deck there's somewhere. Events, there's events in this one. We're going to grab an event deck and start adding it to our situation now. So, this can be our giant event deck full of stuff that probably should be in play. But You think we'll it's the whole it. whole deck? I, unless they say otherwise. Mm -hmm. there's, no, there's no guidance around this. This should be... Again, this is the problem with the tutorial aspect. If the tutorial doesn't perfectly say something. So, just... I can keep in mind. This is the benefit. This is the reason we're getting this prototype now. To go through these kinds of issues. Okay. So... From there, I mean, do you want to draw like 14 events? No, that'd two? be crazy. No, it just it would be too crazy. Okay, what we could do is we could go ahead and put this event token over here. That's over kind there. of what I was wondering. Yeah, have that, that push forward. Yeah, bit. that seems reasonable enough because these event these time tokens would be advancing whenever you had an event that advanced the time track. So that was my first action was going to put this down, and my second action is going to be spending all of these dice to go ahead and just try to move that other thing forward. We're gonna roll this. This die gets removed from the equation. And these two push that forward. So we're going to go ahead and over there. And that's my turn. My turn is done. We're going to flip this and draw an event deck. Do I want to... You know what? I may as well. Nope, that won't help me. That won't help me. Okay. Now that that the event deck's me. in play. Go ahead. Nothing happens. Do not progress any time tokens. Ironically. Okay. okay. That's going to be that. And then go ahead and your turn. Yeah. Anything spawn when I got there? Um, anything spawn? Nope, there's no, no, nothing there. Hmm. So we've got to discover something there. Probably. Maybe. Do I want to... I'm going to jetpack. Okay. How do I jetpack? Uh, jetpack. get a compass. You have to have a compass. I don't have compasses. Then you're probably not going to jetpack. I'm going to roll this to try to jetpack. Wait, what? You're hoping for a vanguard symbol? Yeah. You're going for one instant... Go, you do you, boo. I have no compasses. No, go ahead. None. Go ahead. I'm going to move up there. I want to gag. Right, fully explore the sector marked with... Oh, okay, we're not, we, ha we haven't we have fully explored it. It said okay. we're not fully explored until we find the flag. Okay, so we're both there, but we have to fully explore it, which means... I'm going to use your a supply. Oh, you moved... Oh, oh, supply, yeah. Two, refresh three. And draw a card. I'm going to do those. And, yeah, I'll draw a card, and i got to discard another card. Yes, you do. Don't get, try to keep things that you'll be able to do, accomplish yep, two cards at once. At. Yeah. Okay. From there, I have my cards. I am going to go ahead. I think I inherently have to. Are we down to one supply again? No. What do you mean? Well, we are. We but are. I, did, I didn't want you to realize it. We're going to go down to zero supplies. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead Just and draw remember, a card. I didn't put us down to zero supplies. I feel I feel like something is going on here. I'm going to go ahead and discard a card oh, again. Please draw an event card for me. Oh, yeah, that seems reasonable. We hadn't been doing that. Okay, stuck. Okay, um, either discard a die or does progress. it trigger my location? It does. E yes. 
so stuck, per, either discard or die, or progress all time tokens. And push them forward. Yep. Okay, we're gonna add a time token over here. Okay, that should be going ahead and moving over there. Okay. Then, we go ahead and remove the time token. Oh, we have removed, I think it adds first. Your first mm -hmm. one gets added, second from there you get moved. Okay, so from there is my turn. I am starting with a refresh. I'm gonna go ahead and pull back my Vanguard symbol, symbol as well as I see no reason to do anything else. I'll go ahead and do my other three dice of that color because we need three anyways. Because you just brought us down to no supplies yeah, left. Yeah, that's true. I would rather not focus on that if it's all the same to you. And we're gonna go ahead and roll these three. This is gonna go off the board. We're gonna roll these three in an attempt to accomplish that card. And we got unbelievable, <laughs> unbelievable. Oh, Doing roll, no. I'm gonna go ahead and re-roll one of these. I'm gonna re-roll my Vanguard symbol. Okay, we at least got two. So we got two of those moving forward. So that's gonna be one, two. We're at least done there. Um, I could, no, that won't help me. Nope, that won't help me. That will not help me. Oh, I'm gonna go ahead and do this. These two symbols, these two match. I'm gonna refresh or die and pull that back. Okay, and then, I am done. Mm. Wait, that was one action. No, there's two actions. I rested and I did that. Oh, yeah. so I go ahead and do an event. And we have secret tunnels. You may either, and it's gonna occur over there, yes it will, or roll five to move a chosen connected sector. So we can discard or die, or I can roll five to move to a chosen connected sector. I don't wanna move to a chosen connected center. I'm gonna go ahead and, and lose my die. Okay, keeping in mind we have no supplies. So I need one more success there. Yes. And we're looking for what? We are looking for just anything, any color. Any die works. Any die, as long as it doesn't fail. That good. Success. Good. Success. Go to log 22. 22. Beeping signals. Away team, Vanguard, we are close to the signal source. Capcom, Sergeant Nahi. Proceed with caution, away team. Our advisors have several conflicting opinions as to what this thing might be. Some assist, assist it's a trap made to sound of shifting rubble. Okay, away team, we've got it. It's a satellite? Sergeant Nahi. Away team. Any ideas, Vanguard? It could have fallen from the sky. Sergeant Nahi. No, it's buried too deep. It seems the end of this planet was rather explosive. This piece of the crust must have impacted the satellite in the wake of the explosion. Good find, away team. Grab what you can and continue the mission. Alien tech discovery. Grab an alien tech discovery. That's gonna be underneath a giant pile of tokens. The tokens stay there, I assume. Okay. You see Functional nano dust. Gain two assembly points. Discard this card. You see another interesting place in the area. Remove this card from the game and replace it with another P113 card. Mm. So we're gonna go ahead and add another P113 we're card. We're looking for flag. Yes, we are. This one does not yet have a flag. Okay. Okay. So that's gonna be that over there. We have inspect the remains. Okay. So no token needed for that. And you have another action. All right, what no, am I you, looking for here? Uh, I do. So you're looking for squids and hammers, or or just uh, to or green and anything. Mm. I vote a green and anything at this point. Beautiful, excellent. So that's going to go ahead and give us. Uh, we're going to not get the live test and discovery, but we will get a crystal token, which is helpful. At least we won't get a horrific failure. And then we go to log 32. If your roll does not, oh, that's interesting. Oh, nice. If your roll does not have a shield, gain a sick injury. But you have a Vanguard symbol. So that counts as a shield. It counts as whatever you want okay, to count as. Okay, I'm going to count it as a shield. So that seems reasonable. I can just see you being like, I'll count as a hammer. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking for a way to make uh, make this this other little thing a squid so Log that I could count it sir. as a... Okay. Log 32. Voice Log 13F. I'm entering the underground. The charred walls seem to absorb the light... Starting to regret, I went in alone. It seems reasonable. There are remains here. Dozens of bodies in many strange shapes and sizes. It's bewildering and unsettling. I look over my shoulder and half expect one of them to move. Some cadavers show signs of major bionic and cybernetic modifications. They must all belong to different species. All surviving equipment seems adapted to the various operators of different body shapes. How did so many intelligent species end up on one planet? We haven't found any proof that this was the spacefaring civilization. This was a spacefaring civilization. I'm leaving this place. There's nothing more for me here to see, but I have several questions for later. Did all these species evolve on this planet simultaneously, or were they brought here somehow? How did they manage to live together peacefully? 
we should be on the lookout for more clues, especially something that could hold any piece of their communication. You see another point of interest place this placed in this area. Place the next card, P113. This will be the sure. one with a flag. If there are no more cards, P113, replace this card with a P000. Oh, P000s have flags. Because mm. this doesn't have a flag. Interesting. So, uh, that said, a few things before we do replace the card. I do want to point out I was wrong a second ago. This only here down here only triggers if you had gotten an exclamation mark. Uh, that gotcha. triggers the red flag. Thing. I gotcha. So, either way, you were fine. But we're going to go ahead and replace the point. Now, this. are we on matchstick or brimstone? We're now on... Wait, what do you mean? Oh, wait, that's a different log. Yeah, that seems like a different Don't log. Don't worry about that. Nothing relevant there. So, I believe that was your turn. Did you do two actions or one? <sighs> I did two actions. Okay, we're going to go ahead. What was your second action? I did the first card, and I did the second card. That seems reasonable. We're going to go ahead and draw an event. So event is going to be Vertigo. Either give up a green die or roll for three, which you don't have a green die to give up, so you're rolling for three. Go ahead and roll. Mm, I'll give up a green die. You cannot do so. Circle. Uh, gain an oxygen overdose injury. Okay. Oxygen overdose. You never think about having too much oxygen. Uh, now you do. Okay, you get a yellow die, which you'll be rolling along with your rolls until you get rid of that. And if, if I get that. hit, I roll... Uh. Okay, now in my case, I am almost certainly not going to be able to get... I would love to get three mineral leads, but it's not going to happen. We know that, right? We're on board with the fact that it's not going to happen. So, but where's, what's my double vanguard? My double vanguard is going to be a green one. So it's no, not you got worth it. it. Do the double vanguard. Refresh three. Well, I'm gonna. I can't. We have oh, no so refresh. Them all. I'm giving up a die so do, entirely. So do a red, blue, and your double vanguard. Red, blue, and double <coughs> vanguard. That seems reasonable. Cool. So I'm refreshing all my dice. I'm going with red, blue, and double vanguard. Seems like a good decision. He says not confident. Three mineral would be great. Yeah, we're gonna go ahead and do this. Okay. Unbelievable. <laughs> oh no! Unbelievable. <laughs> you have to have something that helps. Wait, wait, wait! I could help. Can you? Oh, sorry, you could. Well, you don't have any dice left. Could I use any of my section cards? Do you have any section cards? We haven't learned how to help each other yeah. yet. Ah, oh, that's right. We haven't. We're playing without that aspect of helping. Okay, even though it's possible, we should. This is the potential problem with tutorial aspects of things. We don't know exactly what we can and can't do together. That is obnoxious. You want to pretend like I can help you? No, 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 no. We didn't use the events for half the game. We got to balance it out with something. Oh, draw an event card for me. What for? I just finished my turn. Uh, oh, I didn't. Wasn't that this? Isn't that how you got your oxygen overdose? No. That's how you got your oxygen overdose. Roll five. Yes, yeah. Right. Okay. So I have nothing there. I can treat that as unbelievable. That is like genuinely. Well, I guess I'm done there. Um, nothing else I can do there. That's going to be my exhausted thing. I'm going to go ahead and draw an event card. And we're going to go ahead and hmm. get. This is not relevant. So, I believe if no icons match, discard this card and progress all time tokens. Hmm. Okay. Now it's your turn. I don't like it being my turn. I don't like it being my <sighs> turn. Alright, we're losing a die yeah. to get them all back. Yeah. We're looking for just a red and a blue, because I'm yes. not being like you and going for some crazy wild success. I did it under the advice of someone I trusted. Reroll one. That seems reasonable. That seems obnoxious. <laughs> Do you have your double vanguard anywhere? During roll, roll one additional section die and add it. That is my double vanguard. Hey, wait, wait, you can't. You won't help you roll an additional section die. Roll one additional section die and add it to your roll pool. But how will that help you? You won't be able to get a red. I hear you. Because it might give me the other success. Uh, will that help you? I don't think so. No. I think you're done. You also have to roll this along with you. Won't it help if we get the three things? Um, you have to roll that along the way. Go ahead. Okay, that's going to be in this roll. If you get a this, then you have to trigger this, which is draw a hazard card. What's a hazard card? What's a hazard card? No idea. Those say hazard, don't they? No. No, those are events. Do we have hazards? We have injuries. Is an injury a hazard? No. I don't know what a hazard card is. Mm, I'm not sure. We haven't even taught that yet. Yeah. Okay, so we're going to ignore the hazard card. Okay. Mm, no idea. So in the meantime? I'm going to try again. Okay, with what? Nothing. That seems reasonable. I'm not trying again. 
Okay. Drawing a red card? Yeah. Okay. We're going to go ahead and we have not relevant. So we move forward all time tokens. Ooh, guess what? What? We got this. CO2. Replace this card with CO2. CO2 is going to be... Can you pass me the box over there? That is going to be somewhere over here. I believe we have our missions. We have our global conditions. Global conditions CO2. Gamma flashes. The crystal instruction begins to emit sudden gamma flashes. Should we take shelter? So whenever we go ahead and get three hazards, we roll a... Uh, well, three hazards. It's not like that has this happened multiple no. times this game. Multiple mm, times. Not a problem. Game. Okay. So... But travel is a little harder now. And that was going to be that, which means it's now my turn. I don't have what I need to actually succeed there. So I think I have to, again, discard a die just so we can have a chance for succeeding. So this one I'm going to say goodbye to. I'm going to refresh all my dice. I'm going to go with the same roll. I thought it was reasonable in terms of what you're trying to do. Oh, and this time we got Reed. Nice, we got nice. double Vanguard, which means two things. We don't get this, unfortunately. Uh, this card won't help. We're double Vanguarding. We get three mineral leads against these. So, one, that's one, two, and three. Ooh, Discovery. This one's straight up Discovery. Nice. So, we go ahead and get the Discovery. Okay, and that's going to go over here. This is going to be the Planet Phase. Ooh, the Planet Phase. Add that or that to the roll, to the result of the current roll, then discard. But either way, the important thing is we go to Log 9. You have Log 9. So, is that card not helping us at the moment? It will in a second. Which card? This one? This one doesn't need, we don't need it now, but it could help us when we get something else. Log 9. Away Team, Operative 1. Look at this. What were they digging for? Away Team, Operative 2. Lime. The walls and piles contain mostly calcium oxide and calcium hydrodide. Hydroxide. I guess they were making concrete. Operative 1. Enough concrete to fill a small sea. New objective. Find out what the concrete was used for. Uh, place card P116, Doomsday Sphere, in Sector 6. Replace Mission Card M21 with Mission Card M22. Read Mission Card M22. Okay, so P116, Doomsday Sphere is over there. And we have Mission Card M22, you said? Mm-hmm. M22. Dun, 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 dun. And place P000 up in that area, so just flip that card over. That's going to be that. There's now a flag over here for all intents and purposes. Okay. That was action one. And we have the following. Uh, we have that. We have... Whenever we go, we see the signs of... Whenever, wherever we go, we see the signs of a road construction effort the civilization undertook in its last weeks. But what and where were they building? The road and transport systems point to an area not far from here. Objective. Find and unlock the Doomsday Sphere. Do you think we have enough supplies hmm. to unlock the Doomsday Sphere? Hmm. I do not think so. Completion. When you fill the objective, you'll be asked to discard this mission. Hmm. Okay. So. We're going to die outside the door of the Doomsday Sphere. That here. might happen. That might happen, but let's go ahead and do what we can in the meantime. So, uh, for my next action, mm -hmm. I'm going to go ahead and move downwards. I can't move downwards because I don't have any dice. Yep. I am going to go ahead and I think I will... Cry. Uh, Just cry. I, I think I might have to cry. Okay. Whenever you roll in a sector, you may add one from your spent dice pool to the roll, but I'm not rolling a I want sector. a caveat that says, if you do start crying during this game, refresh all your die. That seems reasonable. I like that. I like that rule. I'm going to go ahead and give up a die permanently to <laughs> bring up... <laughs> you cannot exert if you have three or less dice in total. That's it. So basically, you can't go down to your last thing. That's it. Um, then I'm going to give up two dice to go ahead and walk over here, where I will then cry, I believe, as we said we're going to do. Yeah. Okay. And your turn, my turn, event card. Event card. Uh, that's going to be, it's not going to match anything there, which means we are going to mat move all progress tokens. So we do gain two mineral leads. You want to just grab two leads from this bag? Oh! oh okay. Wow. And then this card token goes off. Great. And this one goes on. Just what I was looking for. Any abilities in them? Nope. Nope, they're just solid ones. Yep. Okay. I'm going to jetpack down there. Seems reasonable. Can you do anything with that? No. Did you think that would work? Because it did. worked last time? Mm -hmm. Uh-huh. That's not how it works. You try again. It, it, what, what are you building? <laughs> wow. I'll cut there. Sounds good. <laughs> Fly me down, okay. Vanguard. Cool. I only have one refresh left. I'm also dead. It's, it's not like being together is going to change anything. No, there's actually there's more hope here than we think. 
I doubt that. I mean, not if we have to get back to there, but if we just have to end there and don't have to retreat, I mean, it does have this thing saying lift off log 29, so I think <laughs> we do have to get back there. <laughs> Maybe we get teleported. Mm -hmm. Maybe it leaves without us. Where's passing the rules for a second? Uh, you can keep going. I'm just checking the part where it said something about how, like, if we just die horrifically, just call it a day. Go ahead. I mean, I'm j I'm gonna expunge a dice to refresh them all, and that's the end of my turn. Please draw a event card for me into this location. Ooh, death from above. Hey, I don't think this one triggers. Cycle all the time tokens forward, please. Cycle all the time tokens. Oh wow, that's pretty impressive. Okay, so time token goes out. Time token moves forward, and we go ahead, and we go to my turn. Okay, so the good news is I get to roll this, and I also... Oh, Did you see the part about dying horrifically? Where were my two dice? These two dice were over here. These are in the spent pool. They're not actually gone. Did you see the part about dying horrifically? Yeah, if we die horrifically, we die horrifically. Yeah, that's, that, the rules. that's what it said? Is yeah, it? No, it's because we didn't get taught about death. So it says, if you yeah. die, then, uh, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead, and whenever I roll in a sector, I get to add one die from my pool to that. So we're gonna go ahead and add. Is that your pool? Is that your is your pool your spent pool? None of these. Yeah, yeah, yes, from your from your spent dice pool. Mm. So I'm gonna go ahead and do both of these, and also I'm gonna add this to the roll and then discard. So I'm gonna discard that over there, which means we're gonna get three. Well, I'm gonna add basically one of those symbols. We're gonna roll there, so we have double wow. plus. So we get three movement, which means one, two, three. Again, I think we're fine as long as this says and you win. As long as my roll succeeds. You have to roll at least two successes. And you have to be getting those symbols. Yeah. No problem. No problem sounds about right. Is that the end of your turn? Or... Uh, I mean, I, nothing else I can do. Event I can't card? exert. I can't exert. I'm done. Event card. Event card. Everything I can do here? Nope, this won't help me. Draw an event card. Oh, event card. Yes. Okay. Oh, wait, wait. I can spend an action drawing a card. Oh, can you do that? Yeah, I forgot about that. I should okay. do that before I roll. Okay, cool. I'm going to go ahead and... I'm going to go ahead and do this. This is going to be no symbols match. So again, all of these advance by one. I'm going to spend my first action to draw a card, which is going to give me a reroll one. Perfect. I'm going to reroll this one. Mm, that doesn't count at all. Do any of those count? Uh, well, that one's actually going to go ahead and move the bottom track forward one. Oh, and I'm also rolling this. Yeah, that's going to make you... Um, well, it already says that that accounts that for once. I don't know if it does it again. Uh, do any of those help? I don't think so. Uh, mining axe. This is a mining axe, so this helps advance it by one. Anything you can do with this? I could discard two for my roll to place one chosen die in that in in that roll pull on a side marked with brackets. In that roll pull? Yeah. Place one chosen die in that roll pull. So oh. let me remove both of these wait, 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 to place that one on double vanguard. That would do it. Go to log 240. So at least we find out what happens before we die horrifically. Log 240. If we win, this will be remarkable. It would be as close as you could possibly Granted, get. we cheated for the first half of the game. Material. Yeah. To the unknown creatures from the distant part of this distant world, I salute you. When our team finally began to crack the domes in Olaya, we expected myriad things, an ark, an archive, a vault created by the people of this world to carry the legacy beyond the apocalypse. Yet again, we were wrong. Inside, encased in the protective carbon nanofoam, was an object as old as this planet, a steel that, protect that predated the civilization by millions of years. With their last dying effort, these creatures protect an artifact from an even older time, as resigned to the thought that all of their history and culture, and even their very lives, were less important than this one cracked relic. I keep wondering whether humans would be capable of such sacrifice. The object they saved for us bears a clear resemblance to architecture of the Eye of the Void. There's no doubt that the builders who created the Eye and our star map also left the stone as they spread life to this planet. What does it mean for us? Are there other steels like this on the other planets? Was there one on Earth? The sides of the steel contained code we have yet to unravel, but atop it we found one large symbol, alien yet familiar, a glyph that seemed to symbolize uplifting, raising up, with several small dots scattered at space. This last piece of the puzzle helped us understand some strange discoveries on the planet. The first evolved species here uplifted many other species through genetic engineering and, bio and bio bionic modifications, something that would never cross the minds of humans back on Earth. We will have plenty of time to ponder this and to study this still on our journeys to the next world. Let us hope this time we find more than just ashes. You telling me if I get the opportunity to imbue a tiny little caterpillar with a cybernetic discard mind mission. map that allows it to talk to me and share discard a fancy tea time, I'm not going to do that. Gain the R06 research. Do that. Gain the R06 research project. Build this landmark. We'll get we'll do that in a second. Gain from the, the from the eons past objective. I have to figure out what these things are. On many planets, on many planets, you must return to your lander after filling your objective. Here, simply place all your crew member models back in the lander sector, sector one. Okay, I'm not sure what happens next. 
Check all mission cards that are automatically discarded at the end of the exploration, such as your ob optional objective. If you have any revealed mission cards after the step, your planetary exploration will be considered. If you have any revealed mission cards after the step, your planetary exploration, exploration will be considered a failure. Return all P00 cards from the planet board to the point of interest cards. Remove any other cards from the planet board from the game. You will no longer need them. Remove the L1 landing card from the scanner. That's going to be uh, this over here. And then remove from the game. Another landing on this planet is not possible. Close and store the Planetopia. Go to log 244. We did it. With a little bit of cheating. With a little bit of cheating, but that's that's the here. Mm. You saw how many rules went against us. Okay. <laughs> you are about to start your second ship phase. This time we will play it using the full rules. So we're gonna come back to that in another video. Wow. Can you say skin of your teeth? I don't have skin on my teeth, but okay. I can say it. So, you did not achieve your rank up, unfortunately. You never able to discard things to did. your end. My rank up card is as long as I have no injuries at the end of the scenario, which I do not. So, okay. I will successfully rank up as long as we have at least three crystals, which we do. Had we had six, I believe I would get another rank up, mm -hmm. but we don't, so that's not, that's not relevant. So, uh, we're going to rank up. We're going to go ahead and clean up this area, and we will return with another video covering the ship. Phase. Yeah, at the beginning, well... Probably not another video covering the ship phase. What we'll probably do is the beginning of the next gameplay video will sure. recap the ship phase. Oh, sure. Sound reasonable? Sounds reasonable. Thanks.